the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Tom Harris. And welcome back. Plenty of sunshine across the area today, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty pleasant evening for us. Our weather has definitely settled down, but we've got another Hurricane Jose that looks like it could have some impacts along the northeast as we move into That's the middle terrible. part of the work week. The folks, uh, the boats and the marinas up near Connecticut uh, definitely already starting to take some measures to protect their property up there. We'll have more on that storm coming up in just the moment. Right now, 88 degrees with plenty of sunshine out there. The winds are out of the east southeast at about 17 miles per hour. It was warm. We made it up to 93 degrees for a high temperature today, a low this morning, right around 70 degrees. So that did feel pretty pleasant. 92 degrees right now in Beeville, 96 in George West, looking at 90 in Alice. Obviously, temperature gauge in Fal Furious not working at this point. Did get a little bit of a sea breeze with the winds blowing out of the south southeast at about about 10 to 15 miles per hour and that's what we're going to see again tomorrow. The winds are not going to be a big issue at all and that's going to give us a pretty nice beach and boating forecast. Our bays are going to be mostly smooth. The Gulf Sea is running right around two feet. Water temperature is at 83 degrees. Hardly a cloud in the sky here across the coastal bend and uh, that looks like it'll change a little bit as we move into our Sunday. We are seeing some showers off to the west but some moisture is going to be creeping in from the south and out into the Gulf and that'll give us isolated showers Sunday, Monday, probably into Tuesday. The future tracker picking up on that just a little bit. Maybe a few showers across the upper Texas coast tomorrow. An isolated possible shower in our area also, but a better chance of rain as we move into Tuesday. That's when we'll see uh, some showers developing here in our neck of the woods and still some rain up across parts of Houston. Looking at the rest of the nation, some showers down across parts of Florida, but we've got a frontal boundary here that's triggering some showers and thunderstorms right across parts of Kansas City, uh, Missouri, and then up into Iowa tonight. But the tropics, that's where all eyes have been for the past couple of weeks. We do have uh, Hurricane Jose, and you can see southeastern United States right there and this storm pretty close to Florida, but it's moving up to the north, so it's not going to have an impact for them. But as we look at the track of this storm, as we move into the work week ahead, it looks like it's going to weaken to a tropical storm as it breezes right along the northeast coast. And if it moves to the west a little bit, that's when people are going to start to get concerned. So that's why all eyes on Jose. We've got two more right behind it. We have Tropical Storm Maria and we have Tropical Storm Lee and both of these pushing off to the west. Fortunately, we're getting into that time of year where we get those fronts and it's more of an issue for the eastern seaboard than for those of us in the Gulf. But uh, we are definitely watching our two new named storms, which are Maria and Lee. As far as our forecast for tonight, looking for partly cloudy, some patchy fog, overnight low of 74 degrees for tomorrow. Sunny, isolated showers. We'll see a high temperature right around 91. Winds out of the southeast, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Your seven-day forecast, looking for isolated showers uh, through at least Tuesday. Then those winds are really going to start to pick up as we head into the middle part of the work week. That's a look at your weather. Now let's see what's happening with Dr. Brad. All right.